All right, guys. Uh, this is a review and consumer back with another review, sort of, not really a review. Uh, but a lot of people play Fortnite. A lot of people play Xbox, PlayStation, PC. A lot of different places we can play it. Uh, iOS, but we haven't been able to play it on Android. That is up until very recently, at least recently for me, until I figured it out. But I am going to show you how to play it on Android. And uh, the cool thing is this carries over from wherever else you're playing. If you're playing on Xbox or PlayStation, it carries over. So you can play, I mean, you can stop a game, the very next game you can play on your phone, and it still counts toward, you know, whether it be your daily, um, like, achievements or challenges, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can still you can keep doing those without playing two accounts, which is always a, a letdown. Nobody wants to do two different accounts of the same game. All right, so let's jump into it. All right, so you, the the thing is you got to have this Galaxy Apps uh application I guess um, so we're gonna get that we go to galaxy apps and now if this doesn't show up which I think it will yep there it is alright so see it pops up immediately it was a little harder to find before so anyway you'll go to you'll click click on Fortnite if nothing else you type in if it's not there Fortnite installer alright it's a free download now the only thing is this is an outside of the Play Store download so it's gonna prompt you and you're really gonna have to you know, say yes, I want to download this app, and they'll tell you there's certain risk involved with it, which of course there's risk with any app you download. But uh, this is from Epic Games, they're reputable, so I didn't worry about it. And that's you got to make that call for you though. So anyway, we'll go to the installer. Obviously, I've already installed this. So when we get to this screen, uh, down at the bottom where we see uninstall and launch, we will only see install. Now, uh, one thing, let me just go ahead and say, um, don't get too excited when it doesn't work the first time. Because, I mean, you're going to be really excited to try to get this thing down. It's not going to work the first time. All right, you got to remember this is a beta. And it is an early stage beta. And it is full of bugs. Um, whenever an update comes, I've had this for a while. When it gets time to update, it won't update. It'll fail five, six, seven, eight times. But you can then uninstall, reinstall, and typically it works just fine. But even during the game, there's little bugs they're trying to work out. Occasionally, they'll drop solo mode or, or something. And, uh, I mean, that's just kind of the way it is. Uh, but it's a beta, so you are signing up to be a beta tester. You are not like, this game is polished, it's perfect, and now let's play it. You're actually helping them work through making this game a good game. So you're really kind of doing a service to other gamers. You know, we you go through the beta and you put up a little bit of put up a little bit of uh, difficulty or, you know, it doesn't work perfectly. But, you know, in the end, you know, you're making a, uh, helping them make a better product. So, I mean, I'm good with it. So we're going to get this loaded up. Again, this is going to be a long process. It's about a 2 gig download. I think it's 1.93 gigs. Uh, so it's a big download. Try to do that on Wi-Fi if you got limited data. If you got unlimited, then hey, go for it. I don't have unlimited, but uh, I did download it over 4G just because it was faster than the Wi-Fi that I had at the time. And of course, you see it's out. You're like, I got to download it right now. So could have waited, but I didn't. Anyway, so we're going to log in. Um, whenever this loads up, you can see I'm already in here. So... Um, I mean, you can play uh, right here. It's a little easier for me because I've already signed in. It's going to take you a little while to really get in the game. There'll be a few bugs trying to sign in with your PlayStation account or your Xbox account. If you can't remember any of those, worst case, make a new account and start from here. Uh, so you can see they've got, you know, the six modes here. Like, this changes constantly. These pictures, every time I log on, it's a different picture. Um, like, earlier today, they dropped out solo mode. You couldn't play it for a while. You couldn't play squads uh, one time. But they always bring it back. Uh, so we're going to do uh, solo uh, just to show you. I want to show you this works. I'm playing this on a Note 8. Um, Initially, this was limited to only Samsung devices, and then they opened it up to uh, like the Pixel, it was like the Asus, uh, the Zenfone, the LG G5, there's a few other phones in there, Hawaii, uh, or Huawei, I don't know how you say that, but uh, it's one of those phones, and then there's another phone, it's called the Razer, I don't even know what it is, R-A-Z-E-R, -E uh, but anyway, so the big thing is with this, is I've been playing PUBG because I'm Android, um, and I just refuse to buy Apple stuff. So I have, I've been playing PUBG and I love PUBG. And I thought, man, I get this. I'm just going to have to quit, you know, PUBG because I mean, I, I'm not going to play two, two of these games. But uh, what I've noticed is it's almost like PUBG is a simulation. And then this game is really more of like a, it's just an arcade game, like a run and gun, just kind of casual. Whereas PUBG, you really got to invest some time. So I really don't think that they're going to, 
really even draw the same crowd, so I, I really kind of think they'll be fine. I don't think we're going to lose. I don't think PUBG's going to lose a lot of a lot of people. I will say this though, PUBG's defense. They were the original group. Um, I do think I'm not going to necessarily say Fortnite did it better, uh, but they did it to where it appealed to a different crowd and I and seemingly a larger crowd. Which obviously I've been playing PUBG for. I don't know, a few months, and I mean, I'm trying Fortnite out, so I, I definitely think you have some people trying it out, but I don't think that uh, Fortnite on Android is just going to kill, you know, player unknowns now, but uh, I mean, I think it'll be, I think it'll still be a good game. I think you'll be able to balance it and be able to play both. Alright, let's see if I can super speed and get down here. Uh, by the way, I am terrible at Fortnite. This is probably about my 10th game and I think I've maybe killed 3 people. Um I'm just, I'm going to get shot for sure right here. But anyway, it's not about me getting shot right now. It's really about getting you guys in this game, getting everybody playing. Let's get as many people on this beta as possible and then you know, finished product comes out, hey man, they may reward us with something. They actually may not reward us with anything. But uh you know what? If nothing else, we're getting to play Fortnite before most people are, and that's worth something. So, I think it's pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm all for it. Man, I do not know where this chest is. I am lost. If anybody wants to give me any tips in the comments, uh, I would welcome those because I am uh, not very good at this game. Say so. Well, I did kill one unlucky person. He uh, he's looking the other way. I think maybe somebody else had already shot him a couple times or something. He's pretty weak. But I do, where's it at? Where is this chest? No, oh, let's see it. Man, can we let us walk right by that? There it is. Really good at this game, just a seasoned veteran. It's like, this is not even a room. How is this part of this house? This is a secret, like, basement, I guess. I mean, a uh, secret attic portion I guess. Alright, let's try it out. Alright, wow, I got this chest and there's absolutely nothing but common stuff in it. And that's really nice. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so we're gonna just try this out. Um I have played Fortnite before, not on mobile. Very minimal amount. I think I made it to like level five or six. I mean nothing compared to most people. Um, I mostly started playing it because some guys I hang out with started playing. I was like, hey, let's check it out. But uh, now when it's on mobile, um, there's much, much better chance that I'm actually going to try to play it and uh, and do some stuff. It's just hard to have enough time to sit down at home and really, really be able to play a console game. That's kind of, that's one of those things. I'm not going to say it's dying, but... Uh, I don't know. I just it just really kind of lost its appeal for me to to sit down at a screen. Whereas, hey, you know, I could be sitting waiting in a doctor's office, you know, playing Fortnite or or PUBG or something like that. I'd much rather do that and feel like I'm not really using any of my time. Uh, there's three modes you can set up. I'm sure everybody knows this. It's playing this before, but uh, like you can set up where you tap anywhere to fire. You can set up for auto fire or um, a dedicated button, which is more like PUBG. So, of course, I said, oh, well, I'm going to set it up like I got PUBG. But the thing is, this game is completely different than that. I should be getting some materials, but I know I'm going to get killed very fast. So I'm just trying to find some money. Maybe hoping since I'm videoing this, I actually get a get a kill this time. But um, I'm sure there's like a bunch of... Eight-year-olds that are gonna beat me up here in a minute, but uh, you know, hey, it's all right. Oh, I got mm, shotgun. I don't want that. That's all right. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna get that. I can just have just enough to build something to give give me about a five-second lead. That's the longest I've ever gone without seeing anybody, and I am actively looking for people. Hey, if anybody knows how to, like, how do you glide 
after you land? Is there is it possible to glide after you land, or is that just something I made up? Because I'm pretty sure I saw somebody the other day playing that was gliding after. I thought they, I don't know, maybe they used like a trampoline or something. But somehow they uh, they were jumping after they landed. They were gliding for a while. I don't know. I jumped off. I built a little structure the other day, and I jumped off of it, thinking, "Hey, I'll just glide over here," and, and I didn't. It, I think it said I didn't stick the landing or something. I don't know what it said. But needless to say, I was no longer a threat. Well, I mean, there are obviously still 28 people in this game, but they are not where I am. You know, if I was trying to avoid people, I probably would have already, already found them. Yeah, I have no idea where anybody's at. Dusty Divot, whatever that is. Where is somebody? I bet there's somebody over here. Yeah, I just got shot. Come on, son. I'm making a YouTube video. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tease me, bro. What's this do? Health? Take that. Surprise. Oh, so close. Well, you saw me get killed. I tried. That guy's a ninja, so I didn't stand a chance. Look at him, man. Look at this stuff. Look at all the stuff he's got on, man. He's going to build a little building around himself to... Whatever he's doing, taking health, that's probably smart. But anyway, all right, so guys, you see I can play Fortnite, obviously, on my Android, playing on Note 8. It uh, works uh, flawlessly. One thing I could say, if you do download it, to uh, be sure and uh, clear any unused uh, stuff that you have and free up as much space as possible. I um, I think I cleared, and this, without exaggeration, about 25 gigs of pictures and videos off my phone. I back everything up on Google Photos, so I didn't lose anything. I lost a little quality because you don't necessarily get the full quality um, when you back them up. I think you get like 720 on videos, and they call it it's not not low definition or I don't know. It's like standard def, I guess. But anyway, you can uh, you still back them up and keep all your stuff, and it, it makes your devices run considerably faster. So uh, that's what I would do. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure you like it and subscribe. If you got suggestions that you just think would help me out a lot, or if you just want to say, hey, I don't like your video, that's fine too. Put that in the comments down below. All of that, I'll use it as constructive criticism.